It's no gamble to stake your life, your fortune, your name on liberty and freedom for future generations. They did it for us. And everything we've got good is because our forebears stood up for liberty and freedom. And I salute you in the spirit of 1776. I declare war on all forms of tyranny over the minds of men. And as Thomas Jefferson said, I swear eternal resistance to all forms of tyranny over humanity. We are back live. Okay, so more and more, the uh, public all over the planet isn't buying what these corrupt, corporate-run governments are doing. That's what the New World Order is. It's offshore Fortune 50, really, that controls the Fortune 500, bigger than any one government. You combine the forces of the big corporations. In fact, uh, out of the top 100 biggest economies, 50-plus of them are corporations. So these corporations combine forces together. They're anti-free market, they're anti-liberty, they're anti-freedom. They come in, they buy off politicians, they buy off society. We have their IMF World Bank documents, how they do this. Their own people, like Joseph Stiklitz that have worked for him, Nobel Prize winner at the IMF World Bank, uh, John Perkins, an economic hitman, all of them on record, how they do this operation. And now they're not just using England, Europe, United States as an engine to fund their operation and to supply their diplomatic corps that uh, carry this out. They are now destroying the West, destroying the middle class, to integrate us into a giant third world slave mass known as the New World Order. And this is all stated by them. They're lowering the standard of the West to keep the standard of the third world low. They're not going to raise the third world. They're going to lower the first and second and old and bring it all into one technological control grid. That's what IBM calls it, is a smart grid, a control grid, a world cashless society. Forget the New World Currency. You're all still going to have your local currencies under the new World Bank, IMF, Bank of the World plan. They'll just all be standardized and controlled by the central authority. Their rates, their value, how much currency there is, how much credit there is, what the interest rates are. This has all been stated. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of news articles. And I'm sitting there talking to this uh, pretty well-known psychologist that writes for Psychology Today, an author who's writing this big story basically about me, and I'm saying to him, you know there's a new world order. You know they've announced a new bank of the world, we're going to pay our taxes to him. And he was kind of like, huh, R really? Uh -huh. Tell me about it. And I said, wait, do you, do you acknowledge that literally every week there's hundreds of articles? Have you not seen any of them? Time Magazine, Newsweek, Financial Times. And he was like, oh, tell me about it. Are they coming after us? Are they, are they going to get us? You know, like, oh, you're... Oh, they're coming to get you in the night. Oh, you're a schizophrenic. You know, basically is the attitude. And I'm like, no, here's the headlines. Financial Times of London, published by a Bilderberg Group member. And now for global government. And then it goes on to say, yes, it's real. Yes, we kept it secret. Yes, it's tyrannical for your own good. They say it's authoritarian for your own good. And, I, and I'm sitting there going, don't you understand? This isn't five years ago where you're following the old script that it doesn't exist. And then you as a psychologist buy into that as the orthodoxy. The orthodoxy of the Aztecs. The orthodoxy of the Aztecs was that it was normal to cut out thousands of people's hearts every year and to murder thousands and thousands of men, women, and children. That was normal, and if you were against doing that, you were insane. So see, to the guy at Psychology Today, I'm like a conquistador or something showing up and seeing the Aztecs doing human sacrifices. I think they're crazy. But the establishments, the Aztecs of today, the they think it's completely normal. See, we are crazy. Those of us that don't want world government, don't want world tyranny, and don't want the entire population on Ritalin and Prozac drugs, we're crazy. Just like we would be crazy in the Aztec kingdom if we weren't for human sacrifice. They think we're nuts. And so you're talking to them saying... I believe there's a world government, and it's, oh, you, you believe in that, and tell me about more of your delusions. They're out to get you. 
And I'm like, it's in the newspaper. A bank of the world will pay carbon taxes. You know, we'd read Club of Rome, CFR, Trilateral Commission documents a decade ago, and people wouldn't go look them up and find out they were real. They would just say we were liars and, we, and, and, and schizophrenics. Now it's openly being announced, and we're still crazy if we're against it. Just like we're crazy if we say Obama's daddy was a Muslim until he says his daddy was a Muslim and he's basically a Muslim in his roots. Then it's, oh, yes, he's Muslim in his roots. It exists there, but still doesn't exist when we say it in criticism. That's mind warfare.